Hello. If you have been caring for someone for a while, you'll get to know them very well. You will often be able to tell when they become unwell, even if you aren't quite sure what is making them ill. You should trust your instincts or gut feel. If you think someone is not quite right, ask them what is going on. There are certain signs and symptoms that might make you think about particular illnesses. For example, if the person is complaining of chest pain, they could be having a heart attack. If they have new weakness in their arms or legs, or can't speak as clearly as they normally do, then you might be worried about a stroke. Or if they have a cough, are short of breath and have a temperature, they could have a chest infection. However, sepsis is a condition that you might not think about. It can present in a variety of different ways, which may not be very specific. People who have had sepsis often say that they felt like they were going to die, and it was the worst they have ever felt. Sepsis is the severe end of infection. Many people develop infections that their body can fight and get rid of over a few days, but with sepsis, someone's body significantly overreacts to an infection in an unhelpful way. This overreaction can affect all of your vital organs. Sometimes the cause of the infection may be obvious, but other times it may be harder to know where the infection is coming from. How to recognise sepsis. If someone develops an infection and it is treated by their GP, they will usually get better, However, if they get worse, you should consider sepsis. Trust your instincts, as you may spend more time with the person than anyone else. Sepsis can make someone breathe faster and the pulse quicker. It can also make someone confused or sleepy, or cause difficulty in walking. Other signs of sepsis include worsening anxiety, really bad shivering, known as rigors, a rash or mottled skin, Sepsis can lead to people only passing a small amount of urine or no urine at all. Anyone can get sepsis, but people with a weakened immune system are particularly at risk. This includes adults over 75 years old, babies under one year old, people with cancer, people with broken skin such as ulcers, patients with long-term catheters or intravenous lines people on chemotherapy, and people who inject themselves with drugs. It is important to know about sepsis and to seek help promptly. If you are worried, let someone know. The earlier treatment with antibiotics and intravenous fluids is started, the greater the likelihood the person will recover.